Hello and welcome to another episode of A Jewish Mother and the Latina. So, we have some fun stuff to do yes, today. Yes, we do. Look at this table. I know, and I would like to introduce my very good friend, Tina Barone. Hi. Who is going to Hi. teach us how to do that. <laughs> me. Yeah. Me, then. She's going to teach yeah. me that piece. <laughs> We're going to do this. We are. We, we are. are. Sam, when they used to do my scenery at school, they didn't let me touch the paint. Oh, so that was me with the power saws. I wasn't allowed to touch those. So I was a little limb here and there, you know. Yes. But yeah, so tell us what's going on here. Okay, so um, I started painting in college, actually, uh, sets oh, and really? stuff. Oh, yes, it's true stuff. story. Okay. Because they wouldn't let me near the power tools that have finally something to do with the shop. <laughs> so uh, I started painting sets, and then. After a while, it became like a real love of mine, and my mom always was very artistic, and so like I used to paint little things when I was little. But now I've really gotten into it. I've even explored oils and oh, acrylics, wow. and this is acrylic paint that we're doing today, okay. and um, it's kind of like Pinot's palette without the Pinot. So here, this is kind of what we're gonna <laughs> you could get. Pinot, if you want. I mean, if you really want it, you can have it. Um, <laughs> like no. <laughs> so it's just uh, it's a small painting of a night sky and a tree in the shadow. That's so that's what we're gonna Very do. Cool. And Very these excited. colors are absolutely gorgeous. Look at these colors. Yeah, we have um, ultraviolet marine blue. We have regular just a cobalt blue. We mm -hmm. have a, a vibrant violet, black, white, and a rose pink. Beautiful. Very and nice. we're gonna use four different types of brushes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna use a basic flat brush, mm -hmm. a fan brush. A lino brush, which is really, really awesome, and you have to be very careful with these. You can't work them too hard, or the bristles will break. And just a smaller um, flat brush. Fan brush. So yeah, so you're fan yourself. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to use four different brushes: some water, acrylic paint, and our canvas. Our That's canvas. What we're gonna do. And all this uh, from Michaels, or yeah, most of this from Michaels, or wherever I gather stuff over the years. Okay. Yes, yeah. I've seen some of your work on Facebook, and it's just. Um, every time I see him, like, another thing she can do. <laughs> I love to paint. Painting is fun. It's very therapeutic, Come is it not? this way. There you oh, go. Okay. <laughs> therapeutic, is it not? Um, it is, and mm -hmm. it helped me get through COVID big time because I was sure. like, you know, no theater, no mm, outlet, okay. and uh, this really... And no school. And no school, except for on the screen, which was very frustrating. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of how I got through it, and it actually became like a little bit of a side business, which was kind of cool. Oh, so, that is cool. Yeah. Yes. Do you get, well, during the, uh, let's try that again, rewind, girl, <laughs> during remote teaching, Yes. were you able to continue teaching drama, or did they give you like a break to work? Um, last year, when we first got hit, I was teaching theater March through June. Um, via you know Zoom and all right. that stuff mm -hmm. and Google Classroom, but this past year because I was on medical accommodation, I was third grade, so oh, it was like okay. a complete shelter shock for me. Oh. Um, I never taught in a classroom before; I was always theater. So, but they said I did a really good job, oh, and they were good. proud of me. So, hey, you know, so yeah, it was cool. Let's get started, yeah. shall we? Yeah. Shall we? Shall we? And, uh, so we're gonna start with this flat brush right okay. here, the big flat one. Okay, okay. and. We're going to take a little tiny bit of water. Like you barely want to touch the bristle to the top, and then you're just going to give it a little bit of a wipe. So you've got a little dampness, but very little. Okay. Mm -hmm. The less water, like that. Yeah, the better. So, and then we're going to come into this cobalt blue here, and you just want to load your brush on either side. Okay. How far up the brush? Is Not too much. Just you just want to keep it. it. You just want to keep it like a little bead on each side. Okay. 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 Okay, that's a little much, Tracy, you want to wipe a little bit off. So when you pull it, you want to pull it through the plate. Use the plate like a palette. Oh, okay. okay. So, and then you just load both sides. Better. Okay. So, yeah. Now, we're going to try to think about three fingers down. We're going to put this cobalt blue across the top, about three fingers of the way down your canvas. And it's okay if it's not exactly three fingers down. We just kind of want to fill it in. And you want to just use big, long strokes. Okay. If you find that the paint is not spraying as much as you'd like, you're just going to go back in and dip it in the water just a little bit, just to get it to move a little bit. Do so we want it solid blue? That's or? totally up to you. Okay. We are going to be blending it into the other colors, so it's okay if it's not 100% solid. I like a little like translucentness and not everything so super even. Mm -hmm. That's just my aesthetic, but you can make it any way you want. There's really no... I'm all about uneven. There's really no wrong way to paint. 
Um, the less even the better as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, there's really no wrong way to paint. So you want to get the blue pretty much covered about three fingers down from the top of your camera. What do you do, Viv? Put too much water, I think. Yeah, yeah. if you, that happens, just give it a little bit more paint and, and you know, play shake with it. Off. Shake, shake it off. Shake it yeah. off. Oh, I like this one. I say out to be. We did that with my chorus. Mm -hmm. I sang it with Screamin' Broccoli one night live. It's Screamin' Broccoli! <laughs> um, in New Jersey somewhere. Okay, so once you, you have... sing too? Yes, I do. Oh, right. Um, once you get it about three fingers length down the top, and you want to keep it pretty, that's really good. Keep spreading, Trey. I'm spreading. Also, spreading. it will help you if you hold the brush more like a pencil, oh, and you get more okay. control over it than if you held it up here and went like this. Set. Yeah, it'll help you spread just a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. All right. Get a little bit more yeah, get a little bit more paint in there. Yeah. Good, good, good. That you want to get section. all the way to that top ledge there. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay? Well, once you have that, okay, you're not going to clean the brush at all. Oh, okay. You're gonna give it just a little bit more blue, a little bit more water, and you're gonna come into this ultra blue, ultramarine blue, and you're gonna load the brush in a similar fashion. Okay? And you're gonna go with the same principle. You're gonna go about three fingers down, and you're gonna start to three add. Three more fingers. Yeah. I already got dirty. It's okay. I get dirty all the time. It's part of the, part of the job. <laughs> so we're using this. Three more down. fingers? Yeah, three more fingers down. And you want to get that in there. And then we're going to work on blending the two together in a minute. But for now, you want to get this layer laid in. Oh, that's much easier when you hold it like a pencil. Yes, much easier when you hold it like a pencil. <laughs> you have much more control over it that way. Yeah, you're not kidding. I think I did three Peter fingers instead of three Vivian fingers. And Doesn't that's matter. okay. It does not matter. There's no right or wrong to the three finger rule. Now, if you look at this real quick, yes. you'll see that I have like uh, a line where the two colors meet. Yes. Right? I don't want that. So, oh, okay. Right? I want to work my brush and blend the two lines together so they look okay. kind of like they move into one another. Oh, okay. And if you find it's not moving, you can always take a little bit more of that cobalt blue to blend them together. Okay. And you can make this darker blue as dark or as light as you like, depending on how much water. The more water you add, right, the lighter, it's the lighter the color is going to be, correct. Okay. And you just want to try to get them blended together so that it looks like a seamless transition from the one color to the next. Now you can add a little bit more water to your brush, that would help as well. Okay. That's good, Trey. Now get a little bit more water on your brush and try to blend down the two colors into it, make it look like one. Just with water. Yeah, or you can also add a little bit more of that cobalt blue to blend the two together. It's totally up to you. So like, right now I'm going to steal a little of yours because yeah. I have it. Okay. And I'm going to come in here and layer it in. Look at me painting. Yeah, you're doing mm. good. See, Viv, I can do the paint. You can. <laughs> you can. Yes, you can. Sure, she says that now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't the one that kept you away from the paint. Yes, you were. <laughs> no. You were too, you bully. I wasn't. So you want to get a little bit of broader stroke here, Trey, and you want to. Oh, okay. Blend, blend, blend. blend. I'm going too narrow. Yeah, a little too narrow. Big strokes, big, big. You see how it's starting to look like it belongs together? I feel like I'm at my violin lesson. Use the whole bow. Yes, use the whole bow. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I see white. Good. Is it okay to see white, or you should? That's see up white. to you. I don't. Want to see white. Oh, if you don't want to see white, you fill it in. I have decided I will do not want to see white. That's fine. And so, you, like I said, you can make the colors as vibrant or as, as opaque or as translucent as you like using water, and then like going back over where you started, right? So you should okay. have kind of like a blended look, where the lighter blue looks like it's moving into the darker blue, similar to that. Okay. Okay. Let's see yours. Let's go. Oh, very nice, Vivian. Very oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Oh. So go back into your cobalt blue. I was just blue. about to do that. Yeah, and, and blend this side a little bit, but it looks good. And you're going to follow the same rule now for the purple, right, which three is next, again. the violet. Yeah, three fingers and blend. And then the pink, okay? 
You don't have to change, uh, you don't have to clean the brush. You just want to get a little bit of water on there because we're blending them all together essentially so that they look like one transitional so style. Yes. take your small flat brush. This one? Yes, okay. the small one. This would be this one. You could use mm -hmm. this one. I'm going to use this messed up one just for the sakes. And I'm going to get a little bit of water on it. It doesn't matter if the water is colored because you're not going to know. And I'm going to get this white paint really, really wet. Oh, okay. I need it really wet for what we're going to do next. Okay. So, you want to pull just a very little bit because you're going to have a big messy mess if you don't. Okay. And you want to get a little more water in this right here. Okay. Okay? You got it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold the brush sideways and you're going to tap like oh, this. Oh, fun! And that is how we're going to get our stars in the sky. And it's going to get all over you and that's all right. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so we're going to take the black, we're going to load our brush, uh -oh. <laughs> and we're going to fill in the empty spot on the bottom with black. Solid black? Solid black. Solid black. Oh, you guys went all the way down with the pink. I didn't know it was stingy. That's, that's okay. So do all this in black? You could do all of it in black, or you could leave some room and go back and fix it later. That's what's wonderful about painting. It's all up to you. Okay. Once you have it on the bottom, mm -hmm. You're going to take your fan brush, this mm -hmm. funny guy right there, oh, I like to look like and that. you're going to pull oh. up Ooh. to make it look like grass. Interesting. So should I go back and do more pink before I do that? Or yeah, I, I would, because it'll cover it over it. That's what okay. I do. Let me finish the black. And if you don't have enough black uh, to pull up, like if it's already started to dry, as I said, it gets like that, you just add a little bit to your fan brush. Right. Now, we're going to take our big brush again. We're going to go back into the black, so if it's not completely clean, that's okay. Because it's the black and it's going to come That's right. Color. And now we're going to lay in our tree. So you kind oh, of want to... <laughs> this is the part... This is the part I'm afraid of. Oh. This is it's what scares me. Yeah. All right. And don't be scared. It's not... It's don't not, be scared. Don't be scared. It's going to be okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, All right. All right. So you're going to just give me a little bit on the end of your brush. And... You want to estimate where the middle of the canvas is, or you don't. Maybe you want your tree to be slightly off and go to the side. That's totally up to you. In my example, I tried to put it in the middle. It's not 100% there, but I tried. Um, but you can make it wherever you like, okay? So you're going to find where you want the tree to start. And I actually think I'm going to put mine to the side on this one. I think, I think um, it would be more beachy for me on the side. And I'm think? just going to lay beachy? in about up to where the purple starts mm -hmm. with a trunk. And it could be as thick or as thin as you'd like. So it's not a stroke this time, you just kind of... I'm just kind of dabbing it in. I'm going to fill in. I'm going to go for the rule of thirds myself. Okay. The rule of what? Thirds. Thirds. In photography. <laughs> your subject is off. One I made a thick trunk. And you want to fill it in. Oh, I lost my I lost my purple in there somewhere. And then once you have like your basic trunk shape, right, that you're happy with, then you can go and now start to add some limbs. Just out on it. Yeah, and we're not gonna keep with this the big limbs you can make with this brush. And then we're gonna add in uh, we're gonna open them, take out that liner brush and do the rest. So I just have my basic shape there. And I'm going to take the skinny skinny liner brush and a little bit of water and I'm going to come in and I'm going to finish making my tree limbs using a little skinny brush, the liner brush. And you could give it as many limbs as you'd like. It's totally up to you. But I am able to paint as you notice right on top of what I just made because in acrylics it pretty much dries very quickly so you don't have to stress about that. 
Oh, that looks pretty full with the little brush. Yeah, the, the lino brush is great for making the thinner. How many branches are you making? You make as many as you like. Hmm. It's totally up to you. Oh, the liner brush. Right yeah. My ears. And you don't want to slam this too hard. You really just want it to flow. Mm -hmm. So, because if you slam it, then it's ruined, and you don't want to ruin the lovely liner brush. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to say you ruined the painting, but you can't because there's no accidents in painting. See, no, I listen. Ruined. Yeah, you did listen. You'd, listen. Ruin, you'd ruin the liner brush. We don't want to ruin your liner brush. Well, it's not even that. It's just I get anyway. sad when I see any brushes ruined. So here I have like the beginning of my tree. I don't know if you see it up there. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, very pretty full. And you could add more trees to this landscape if you so choose. You could put one big one in the center. You could add some birds in the sky. You could pretty much do whatever you want. This is just the basic, right, like shadow painting. And then once you have all of your lovely fan brush. Oh. And you're gonna go into the black paint. I see where this is going. And we're gonna create our leaves. And we're gonna just do it sideways and shush it out. And you want to put them like in the vicinity of where you put your. Oh, that's nice. You want to put them in the vicinity of where you put your your branches, but it's okay if your branches are peeking through because that's yeah, how it would be on a natural tree. True. Okay. Yes. Wait, a lot of water or a little bit. Of water? Very little. And you just want to tap. tap, tap. And you could do multiple layers. Like if you start in one section and then move to the next, then kind of just keep moving your brush around. That's okay. You can fill it all the way up. You can fill it as high up as you'd like. It can even go higher than the branch because, you know, we can assume that underneath it there's more structure. This is very calming and sweet. I'm glad. I'm glad. I feel like I'm did I pick one that was, was yeah, doable? Did perfect. I pick a painting that was doable? I'm glad to hear that. It looked scary. Yes, yes it did. <laughs> it can be intimidating if you don't paint. Like I remember, I took my cousin to one of the paint nights, and it's not her thing, you know. And um, I had a really great time. I made like we made like this epic waterfall thing, you know. Ooh. And she was like, she was like. I can't do this. Like, it was too many steps for her, you know? Like, and I was like, well, let me pick something that's not too overwhelming. I kind of like this. Yes. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Yeah, you can, add, yeah, you don't want to, you want to get most of it covered so that the branches look like they're behind it and not in the forefront. So I'm just adding multiple layers. Then another thing you can do is, I didn't do it on that one and I, I would have. Um, I like to blend a little bit of the black and the white together. Oh, so yeah, that, like a gray. Yeah, to make a gray so that I can add a little bit of shadow and contrast. And make now you're getting fancy, Tina. And make <laughs> the leaves pop. Ooh, that looks awesome. Wait, can you show that one to the? Look at that. Yeah, so making the leaves pop. Just adding a little bit of gray. Show Peter also. To make the leaves pop. That looks good, Tracy. It's I not, like my tree. It's not a lollipop. <laughs> We did good. I didn't make a lollipop. Yay. Yay. Okay, so, and if you find that your, your fan brush is getting a little, like, heavy-handed, you just add a little bit of water to it and then go back in. So now, if I want to, this is like making that grayish color even without. <laughs> yeah. So now, I would just add just the white now and... I, no, I, I added white and gray to get, white and, and black together, together okay. to give me gray so that I have a little bit more depth. Which did you use first, or does it not matter? 
Like, um, do you dip black first and then the white? Does it not matter? I I used the black was already on there, and then I took a little bit of white. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Just to give the the tree a little bit more dimension. Um, and then I gave it a little highlight going up the branch with the gray. I'm afraid to do that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And this is kind of what you would have. Oh, what? Oh. And this is it. Oh, look at that. Look Stunning. at you. Okay. And the very last step, my friends. Oh, the very last step is to take your lovely liner brush with a little bit of water. And you go into your white or pink colored paint. Either one. I just and you're going to sign the back bottom corner with oh, your initials. I'm going to put somebody else's initials. Just kidding. <laughs> you're like, I don't want to be associated with this. No, I'm kidding. You did a really great job. Thanks. Beautiful. I love it. Oh, oh that looks great. I love it. Thank you. Will we put our initial on? Does yeah, it I, I put it on. I always put it on the right corner. It's, that's because I'm a righty. It's I mean, totally yeah, I almost put this in the black paint to put it on the black paint. That would not work that out. Work out very well. No, you want to put a little bit of white, just a little. Yeah. yeah. And now you have. A lovely piece of art wow. to hang in your home. Beautiful. Your mother's man. <laughs> Not your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not too shabby. So Alright, I'm not embarrassed so by this. I'm so happy to hear it. Because when we left Pino's palette that time, I was embarrassed. I think you did a really good job. I'm happy. It's not. It's not perfection, but, but it, there is no such thing in painting. Right. There's Ooh, no such thing Tracy, in that was beautiful. I love it. I like your tree, Viv. Oh, thank well, yeah, you. your tree came out really nice. Yeah. Yes. Don't forget to initial your work. Very, oh, very oh. important. Which, which um. I just used a little liner brush and some little. white paint in the bottom corner. You could use the pink paint if you feel so inclined. And there you have it, Twilight Sky Beautiful. with Tree. Um, in fact, now I want to go back on that one and add the gray. Now that I'm looking at that, I could use it, but you know, that's true. <laughs> so you're always thinking, like, what you could always, you change? You can always improve. Right, no you can what. always improve on yourself. So that's, Always. That's it. This is so cool. All right, nice. Oh, she even put the year. Yeah, she did. Oh, she's she has on her. All right, let's take a look at all these. Viv is a Viv is an overachiever. <laughs> <laughs> this was incredible and fun. Oh and my god, easy. Tina, thank you so yes, much. You're so this was welcome. Awesome. Wow. So. I have met so many facets of Tina. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how long you know somebody, you never know what wow. they're going to be able to do next. This was incredible. Thank you. I'm so glad. I'm glad you guys had a good time. I'm glad you liked I it. I think this was a little bit be um, better than our caricature drawing. Oh my god, we did caricature drawings <laughs> of each other. Did you? With Miss New York. Were they wonderful? Um, they were interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> they were interesting. That's great. OMG, they were. They, they were, were much. They were funny. <laughs> so thank you, Tina. You're very welcome. Very nice. Keep adding some little leaves. Oh, go for, go for you, it. Now you're getting into a groove, and you're like, I gotta keep adding. What can I do next? These yeah. Oh, be careful not to overdo it because well, then you'll be like, to touch it again, uh, mess it up. Then you'll be like, well, now I can go back. It. Yeah. Yeah, you can't undo. That's right. Okay. So let's wrap this wow. up, Miss Tracy. I, this was fun. Yay! Yes. I had a good time. Thank you for me having too. me so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate Let's it. One more for the camera while we do our little closing. Well, thank you, Tina, for coming and helping us and teaching us how to do this. This was fantastic. Thank Yay. you so much. And you're so kind when you teach. <laughs> you are. I try. She's very kind. <laughs> I, I already knew that from experience in a theatrical sense. But now it's like, wow. 
you can get me to paint. <laughs> I did. I got you to paint. She's made me like do roles that I'd be like, I'd never do that. And then she's made me do like dancing stuff, and I'm like, no, I'm not get out of here. Now painting. I'm not painting. That's true. Painting. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. And thank you again for joining us for oh, another episode of A Jewish Mother and a Latina. And we will see you soon. And Latina.